You know, for the most part, I think that spiders get a bad rap, specifically tarantulas. When you talk to most people about tarantulas, the first thing that pops in their mind are species like the Goliath bird eater or the curly hair tarantula, maybe a rose hair tarantula. All they're envisioning are big brown spiders. And the fact is that tarantulas encompass every size from very small to very large and a whole variety of colors and patterns. So today we're gonna count down the top 10 colorful tarantulas. Now number 10 is a New World Terrestrial Tarantula that's bright orange. And I'm talking about the Brachypelma vami. The Mexican fire-legged tarantula is known for its very bright orange and deep black coloration, growing to more than six inches in diagonal leg span. Females can live up to 25 years. This New World species comes from Mexico along the Pacific coast and lives mainly in the scrublands, making its home in the abandoned burrows of small rodents and reptiles. This gorgeous and brightly colored tarantula is mostly docile, but will kick urticating hairs when it feels threatened, and those can be very itchy. Now number nine actually made my list for the top five best tarantulas. This old world species is a jewel in anyone's collection, and that is the Harpectera pulchra piece. Also known as the golden blue lake baboon, this is an old world species with a bright gold body and iridescent blue on its legs. This tarantula is also a prolific webber and creates a beautiful labyrinth of tunnels made of webbing that really adds to the beauty of this species. This South African spider doesn't grow much larger than five inches in size, but makes up for its lack in size with a truly unique coloration. For an old world species, the H. pulchropes is fairly docile and makes for a great species to consider when you're ready to keep your first old world. This is definitely one of my favorite tarantulas, in large part because of their bright colors. Now number eight is a tarantula I know you are looking for on this list, and that is the Pteranoculus moranus. Another old world baboon species, this tarantula is found in many countries in Africa. It also has many different names, like the orange baboon tarantula, orange bitey thing, OBT, and many more. They have a reputation as a defensive species with a nasty disposition, though that attitude can be mitigated by providing them an enclosure with plenty of hiding places for them to retreat. They are a bright orange tarantula with a starburst pattern on their carapace and black spotting and lines on their abdomen. This beautiful spider has an amazing feeding response, but can be reclusive, spending a lot of time hidden in their burrow, occasionally sticking their front legs out of the opening, waiting for prey to stroll by. I mean, how can you not appreciate an orange tarantula? Now, number seven is a new tarantula to the hobby, and that is the Barupi Samoroxagorum. This recently discovered tarantula has taken the spider community by storm. With its creamy body and neon blue legs, the Bornean neon blue leg tarantula is an old world fossorial species with some of the most impressive iridescent blue coloration on its legs. This Malaysian tarantula does not grow very large and spends a lot of time hidden deep in its burrow. But when it comes out, its display of colors makes all of the waiting worth it. Now number six is a species I just recently added to my collection myself, and it is a gorgeous and very colorful tarantula. And that is the Theraphosini species Panama. Also known as the lava tarantula, this spider is sometimes hard to come by due to its popularity that stems from its unique and bright colors. Also referred to as the Panama pink tarantula and lava spider, this New World species is famous for its bright red abdomen with black stripes, black carapace, and red and black legs. Now this tarantula is on the small side, only reaching a leg span of around four inches. So it technically is not a dwarf species, but it is very close. They can be a little skittish and quick to bolt and hide, but when left undisturbed, you will see them emerge from their burrow and sit out in the open on full display. They're just a very cool tarantula and I'm so excited to watch mine grow. Now number five is a species that's made a lot of my lists in the past and that is the Carabina versicolor. Found in the tropical islands of the Caribbean, the Antilles pink toe or Martinique pink toe tarantula is one of the most colorful new world arboreal species. Spending nearly their entire life in the trees or off the ground, this spider begins its life as a bright blue or teal color with black accents. As it grows, it begins to show some of its adult coloration and patterns until finally molding out into the beautiful fuzzy green, red, and black spider we all know and love. 
very docile and easy to care for. This species is known to jump, to escape danger or attack prey, and is a must-have for anyone that's keeping tarantulas. Now, number four is a species that will always have a place in my heart, and that is the Postolotheria metallica. Known throughout the hobby as the Goody Sapphire Ornamental, Metallic Blue Tarantula, and the Peacock Parachute Spider, this is an old world arboreal tea that is famous for its blue coloration. Rumored to have the most potent venom of any Postolotheria species, this tarantula would much rather run and hide than give a threat pose or attempt to bite. They have exceptionally fast speed and are known to be somewhat reclusive, spending most of their time hidden in or behind cork bark and staying out of sight. Occasionally, this species will venture out into the open and blow you away with their bright blue color, white accents, and bright yellow banding on their legs. Technically, I think this was the first rare tarantula that I ever added to my collection. I've got three or four of them now, and I'm, I'm just in love with them. They're a very cool species. Now, we can't talk about colorful tarantulas without talking about this species. In fact, I think most of my top 10 list include this one, like maybe 75% of the time, and that is the Chromatopelmus cyanopubescence. It is no secret that the green bottle blue is one of my all-time favorite species of tarantula, and that is in large part due to their bright colors. This semi-arboreal tarantula comes from northern Venezuela, where it makes its home at the base of cacti, agave plants, and in the crevices of rocks. The environment is very arid, which makes the care for this species very easy. They have an amazing feeding response, spend a lot of time out in the open showing off their bright colors, and web up their entire enclosure with very intricate web tunnels. All of this combined with their bright blue, green, and orangish red colors makes them one of the coolest tarantulas in the world. I mean, that's just my opinion, but you know I'm a huge fan of this tarantula. Now number two is a tarantula very similar to the GBB, and that is the Dolichotheli diamantinensis. The Brazilian blue dwarf beauty, as it is commonly known, is sometimes described as a dwarf green bottle blue. It doesn't get as large as the last tarantula on this list and can be a little more reclusive, but it more than makes up for that with its shimmering blue and red colors. Originally, this species was described as Oligoxtere diamantinensis in 2009 and was introduced into the hobby in 2012. Native to the rocky savannas of Southeast Brazil, this species is as easy to keep as the GBB and also makes some very amazing spider webs in its enclosure. I think at this point, I've got like five of these at different stages of life in my collection. Hopefully one day I'll be able to breed them. Now, before we get to the number one species, I am gonna throw an honorable mention out there. This is a very colorful species of tarantula, but the reason it didn't make the list is because there is no specimen in the hobby that's really showing off those colors yet. I think for the most part, everyone that has this species only has spiderlings, and they're not very colorful as spiderlings. And I'm talking about the Afonopelma more. Named after Barbara Moore, one of the co-founders of the American Tarantula Society, Afonopelma Mori comes from the Mexican state of Sonora. Still very new to the hobby, most people have only seen or keep spiderlings. Fully grown, they have the appearance of a woolly green bottle blue tarantula, and they're a truly gorgeous species. So hopefully one day soon, mine will have grown to the point that they're starting to show some of those adult colorations. And once they do, you can bet I will have a video on them. Now, before I give you my pick for the most colorful tarantula, take a second and leave a comment down below and tell me what species you think should be number one. I'm very curious to know what you would pick as the most colorful tarantula. And if you're enjoying this video, don't forget to hit the like button while you're down there. So the number one most colorful tarantula, in my opinion, is a species that's unfortunately been shrouded in a lot of controversy. But even with that, it is still one of the most colorful tarantulas anywhere on this earth. And that is the Typhochelena celadonia. 
This arboreal trapdoor spider comes from Brazil and has quickly become one of the most popular tarantulas in the world over the past few years. This dwarf species is very small and very reclusive, spending most of their time hidden in their web burrows high in the trees, camouflaged against the bark and sealed up with their trapdoor. When they do venture out, they show off their shimmery body with bright iridescent blues, white or pink fuzzy legs, and a teal and white carapace. Not to mention the bright pink, teal, and blue abdomen with accents of black and white. There is truly no tarantula that is as brilliantly colored and unique as this species, which is probably why it's one of the most sought after tarantulas no matter what country you're in. Well, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave me a comment down below and let me know and hit that like button. If you wanna see more of my top 10 videos, just click on this playlist right here. And if you missed my latest video, I'll have it linked right here. As always, I appreciate you watching. Subscribe if you wanna see more. More. Thanks for buying Tarantula Collective merchandise, and I will see you next Tuesday. <laughs>